Hey, it's Blake's Nature Live. Here is the white sapote. This one I got down south when I was in Miami. And this is one, this one's called the youngin. So you could see where nature has tested this poor plant. I planted it a month ago. And right here you see new buds. And here's the top of eucalyptus tree that it's gonna be a future tree here. It's drought tolerant. I like how they look. And I have another one in the back growing. Made some charcoal last night. The plants love it and it helps keep the roots safe. It helps with a lot of fungal issues and bacteria that may affect certain plants. My fantastic avocado is pushing back out. It's got new leaves. New two, he's actually got two new stems. That's cool. Let's go check out the other avocado I have. Here's the Dundee avocado. Like it's getting a good start in. I kind of I mounted it just a little bit with some sand. Put some fertilizer around it. Looks like it's doing pretty good. The leaves look healthy and shiny. Got it partially full sun. Here's my chayote. When it gets to midday, it doesn't really seem to like the full sun. But after it shades again behind the tree, it starts doing better. This is my chayote. I planted some okra. These are the survivors from the grasshoppers and the caterpillars. Got different types of them. Here, an owl in the background. See, a lot of these will push through after being attacked. I gotta replant some more that didn't make it from the pest. And I have another seminal pumpkin over here. Looks like you might need some water. Guess what? My chili congos made it from the winter. A few inches from the ground, I put a styrofoam. You see me put it around all the plants. It was just enough to keep them alive. And these chili congos are very tough. Even though they're being ate up, they're they're a fighter. No, the next month start making fruit. You should see the one at the greenhouse. It's it's already making fruit. A little subtropical spot. Uh, with the microclimate, with the live oak. And look, we have a little a ladybug having fun. I kept some of these uh, weeds in here that have aphids to hopefully bring in some beneficial insects. Uh, seminal pumpkins. When they get a little bit bigger, they have all these white lines that go between the leaves. I planted some over here. I haven't decided if I'm gonna let them, you know, grow up a, a fence or just let them grow on the ground as a cover. And then I have another one over here. And we have issues with squirrels. I'm trying to work with it. I'm trying to work with nature, but they just, everything wants to eat all your goods. That's just how it goes. And here I planted some beets. Only a few have popped up. I'm having issues with them grasshoppers. They keep eating. Here's some that's made it so far. And I even planted a uh, yucca in the middle. I had this longer piece that was doing great. And it looked like a squirrel chewed it off or a rat. And it's making new ones. And I'm hoping to make a new one out of this one. And then here's some more beets with a mixture of onions growing. Onions. Had an issue with squirrels eating them. And here's all my rutabagas that need to be dug up. Kind of planted them too late. And then uh, they, some of them made big roots, some didn't. My, uh, my stepdad, he grabbed a lot of the bigger roots. But they need to come up. I'll probably just dig them up and then put leaves back. And put the leaves back in the ground. But the greens are still doing good. Um, in the last few weeks, everything's been chewing on them. 
So I probably should just go ahead and collect them because I'm not here to try to feed the pest. But these taste good. I need to pick them very soon. Just pick the whole thing. This one's real pretty. I just love how they look. That's just the issue with gardening. If you try to do it organically, the pests just want to eat it. See all the grasshoppers and stuff. Okay. They're hungry too. I just wish they would eat my hard working. I should have picked these a little earlier. It's okay. Here's the Lila avocado. This is the one that John grafted right in front of me. And it is doing great. Mounded it the same way. And then when this parafilm falls off, I'll paint it. Here's a silk hook that I got from one of John's friends. We helped him out with this palm tree. And this is, it's native to Australia and it can handle drought. So I'm getting it rerooted in a three gallon a month or so. I'll find a spot and plant it in the ground. I like the idea it's drought tolerant and it can handle into the 20s. It has a beautiful flower after it's been growing for a while. Check that out. I'm growing some potatoes, a mixture of different types. Also some onions. So here's the giant milkweed. I recently planted it about 30 minutes ago, so it's a little stressed out. But in no time, it'll be back and good to go. It'll be happy in this spot. It gets a lot of sun here. Now it's finally getting shade around like 4 o'clock. So this is the one I got in Grand Turk. This is the one you've seen on the beach. They sure are pretty. There's my little moringas coming back. Pushing up. And then John just recently gave me a cinnamon yam. The roots are elongated. I really like the leaves. And they also make air potatoes on the air roots on the, the vines. So you have to collect them so they don't spread. This is a subtropical one. I can't wait for this uh, passion fruit vine to start making fruit for us again. It'll have a better start this year. I'm, I'm guessing probably the next month we'll start making flowers. And there's an ox eye flower. So here's the multi grafted persimmon tree. This one is the side joe. You can see where a bug chewed on it, but it's pushing on another bud. But the bugs got to it and then right behind it's another one it's doing good pushing out it's another side joe and the front is a astringent one i got from conrad stringent is means that when you beat when sorry stringent means when you bite it it makes you have cotton mouth so you have to eat it when it's fully ripe and soft and this one is a gyro you can eat them crunchy or soft. Bug did get it a little bit, but it. And here we've had a lot of persimmons push out different varieties. Got okay, Izu, gyros, astringent ones, the big and circle, oval, different ones. I still have some I have to graft. Getting close to running out of time. A few more is pushing out. Some of these I did recently. It's good to see a lot of these are taking. And here's more that I'll probably wait till next year to grab. All right. Here's some water hibiscus that I repotted in right here. Some different palms, the banana, and all my different pawpaws that I'm going to wait to get bigger. They're not grafted yet. The only one that's grafted is this um, Barclays in the back. It's doing actually good. That little mulberry that I had to repot, it wasn't doing good. Now it's better. This one's cool. I found this seed pods in um, Animal Kingdom in Disney World. It makes this big old seed pod circle. And the, the seed pod is like when you put it in water, it makes soap. So in Central America and, and so on, they'll make soap out of it. It's the coolest thing. When you soak it, it you keep messing with it. And it makes it uh, sudgy. 
So I love how it looks. It seems like it makes its own nitrogen because when I open the roots in it, it has these little nitrogen ball things that smell like, you know, the Harvey lemon seems to be doing great. So we'll keep everyone posted as it grows and connects to its new rootstock, the Harvey lemon. And right beside it, this one has a very interesting story. It's a type of anona that I got from in Nicaragua. We had this giant fruit. I wish I would have took a picture of it, but look how pretty the leaves are. They're long, skinny. Some of us think it might be a type of custer apple or maybe a hybrid of mix of something else. Time will tell, we'll grow it and see what it does. But it sure is pretty. I have a bigger one in the greenhouse that needs to be repotted. The guava's coming in after the little gorging of the insects. It's finally showing its toughness that it's gonna make it. You can see some new leaves at the top. It'll bush out in the, probably the next month. And hopefully in the next couple months we'll get some fruits hope you enjoyed the video i'm gonna catch you later gotta get going gotta get busy again have a good one